Well, we hear it every presidential election. It all boils down to the swing states. That's right. Those are states like Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan, which could go either red or blue. And now some people are saying that New York could potentially fall into that category as well. Fox News' Morgan McKay joins us now in studio with more. Hey, Morgan. Hey, Steve and Natasha. The last Siena College poll taken before the debates has President Joe Biden beating former President Donald Trump by only single digits. Now some are saying that there is a competitive race to be had, especially in down ballot races. If the race is close at the presidential level, that means Republicans are doing really well in these swing districts. And former Republican Congressman John Faso knows well how a presidential race can affect down ballot races, especially in battleground districts. Faso won his seat in New York's 19th congressional district in 2016, but the seat then swung blue in 2018. But Faso says he sees Republicans gaining a real foothold in New York over the last several years. It's going to be much more competitive than it was four years ago. And if the parties start spending money to contest New York, uh, that in and of itself is, is a real uh, problem for Democrats. When we are talking about registered voters, Democrats outnumber Republicans by more than two to one in New York. In fact, there are more registered independents than there are Republicans. The last time a Republican presidential candidate won in New York was in 1984 with Ronald Reagan. This was New York's Republican chairman at the convention in 1984. I expect that we'll ca carry New York. You do think they'll carry the state. But Siena College pollster Stephen Greenberg says you don't have to look further than 2022, when Democratic Governor Kathy Hochul scraped by with a win against Republican Lee Zeldin, beating him by only six points. That was the first single-digit race in New York in a generation. As Greenberg points out, although Hochul won in 2022, Republicans gained a few House seats in key swing districts in that election year. In the most recent Siena College poll that was taken before the debate, President Joe Biden was only leading former President Donald Trump by eight points. Once again, single digits. If you're a Democrat in New York running for Congress, running for the state legislature, in a marginal district, in a closely uh, enrolled district, a tight swing district, I would be nervous. Gabby C. from Battleground New York, which is a super PAC aimed at helping elect Democrats in tight races, says they are focused on reminding New Yorkers of the issues. And her message to Democrats, stay on message. This president, Democrats in Congress, have done a lot of good for New York um, and have created real jobs and made real progress. Um, and that's what we need to be, be focusing on. Now, something else to watch in this latest Siena College poll, which again was taken before the debate, President Joe Biden's favorability dropped by 25 points since 2020, and he is now seen more unfavorably than favorably in New York. Yeah, Steve? it's a fascinating mm -hmm. scenario for sure. We want to know what you think. Is New York going to be a swing state in the upcoming election? Today's Insta poll live now on our website. Head over to fox5ny.com to cast your vote.